Hello from the Canadian city of Hamilton and a very warm welcome to our continuing coverage of the 2015 Pan Am Games football tournament. I'm Nigel Reed at the CIBC Pan Am Stadium where it is day 11 of competition, the final day of the preliminaries before the serious business of the medal rounds from tomorrow. Today our focus is on the men's event two teams will make it to the semi-finals. Later, it's Uruguay against Paraguay, but first up, Mexico aims to secure its passage with a victory over Trinidad and Tobago. Very pleasant summer's day on the western shores of Lake Ontario. Temperature in the mid-20s. There's a pleasing breeze towards the lake. And here are the standings before a ball is kicked in Group B. All to play for. Paraguay, Mexico, and Uruguay can all make it to the semi-finals. Only Trinidad and Tobago are out of the equation before a ball is kicked. <coughs> National flags are Trinidad and Tobago, and Mexico on three. Off to high above the official match ball, as the flag bearers make their way into the late afternoon sunshine, just approaching 5.30 p.m. local time. Proud moment for these young school children as they bring out the flags of Trinidad and Tobago and Mexico. from Hamilton in Canada and once again a very warm welcome to our ongoing coverage of the 2015 Pan Am Games football tournament. I'm Nigel Reed at the brand new CIBC Pan Am Stadium and tonight it is the second semi-final in the women's competition. Host Nation Canada, the defending champions, going head-to-head -head with Colombia in a game that must be settled tonight even if that means extra time and the possibility of a nerve-wracking penalty shootout. Weather is very pleasant in late July, temperature in the early 20s, a light breeze blowing across the stadium, perfect conditions for players and fans alike. making their way into the stadium. It's going to be noisy tonight. We've seen the Canadian fans, of course, and by their thousands, the yellow shirts of the Colombians are here. Uh, they have been almost as entertaining as the team itself. Listen to the reception for the Colombian flag, and behind it, that of the hosts, Canada. Quite the ovation for the flag bearers. Sends tingles up the spine. The local school children bearing those national flags. The familiar maple leaf of Canada. As the volume rises inside the stadium, those flags will.